thanks for coming on down the dirt road to check out this video. So here it is, my first 9 cent 223. It is a powder coated cast lead bullet, 55 grain. And this is actually my first rifle reload. I've been reloading pistol rounds for quite some time now and felt comfortable with it, but uh, I'm going to test these out and see how they do. So basically what I've got is I've got different bags. I made two rounds each with some CFE powder and I started with 20 grains. There really wasn't load data online for this particular bullet. So just going to test it out and see if the chronograph can give me some speeds and see if this will um, damage my AR500 3 8 inch steel targets. Eighteen seventy. Fifteen oh four. All right, these two are the twenty one grains. Going to see how much faster that makes it go, and I'm also going to try this one in semi auto. All right, no reading on the chronograph on that last one, but now we're up to 22 grains of powder. That felt better. All right, this chronograph sucks. So trying 23 grains now. And hopefully this isn't gonna blow up my gun. Error. Center. All right, 2045. All right, here's the last one I made. Uh, 24 grains of powder should be in the safe range, and I'm surprised that all of them cycled. Nineteen eighty nine, twenty two forty. It's quite a big difference. Well, my red dot is apparently off to the right a little bit, but inspecting the steel for damage here, I did actually get a little pock mark. I was kind of surprised there without having a metal jacket the you can tell the more powerful ones left a bigger mark as opposed to the weaker ones so i mean if they cycle and it saves me a little bit of money to shoot them at 2000 feet per per second i mean i might as well do that cuz i don't want to get this i mean look at this poor target that's been hit with regular <laughs> ammo at 50 yards not looking so hot anyway guys thanks for watching more to come on this cheap ar ammo